Hello and welcome to Ascended Stars Leo Love. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, I've already pre-selected the cards and we're going to be looking at both genders today. Uh, who's coming in for Leo Feminines and who's coming in for Leo Masculines. All right, so let's get into it and uh, let's see what's happening for my Leos. Who's likely to be coming towards my Leo ladies? My Leo ladies, who's coming towards you? uh let's see and they're coming with the urgency i can hear the ambulance in the back or fire okay so this person um they could be younger than you that you see them as somebody who could be loyal yeah listen to that can we wait till that passes okay sorry about that um and what else do we see okay so wow this person they could have a youthfulness about them but they might be they might be older actually and they have a lot of wisdom and they can they could they could wow and they have a lot of uh they, they have a presence okay this person has a, a, a presence to them that you just it's undeniable okay and they kind of see things and when you look at their eyes it's like you see you see clearly leo when you look at this person's eyes you get very um enlightened like you have this connection already and uh this person could be jealous okay they could be jealous with you my feminines like you might get them in situations that they get jealous and they, they might be like a, a quick trigger like get upset easily uh they don't like other men around you i think is really what it is and um they have a lot of, because they have a lot of passion for you okay my leo ladies so that's what i have and then we're gonna pick um hopefully that resonated if not we will we get more into it okay so just hang tight uh oh you know what i didn't do the past cards okay two of those came out this is trippy the past cards are trippy so Leo, let's see where you were in the past, okay? Or what's going on with this connection from the past, maybe? We'll see. It'll come out. You have knighthood, spirituality, and religion, okay? So there might have been some kind of real big conflict in the past um, about religion here, your spirituality, and aggression which is so interesting because i just did that, that whole description see how spirit works it's amazing okay um now with the divine feminines we have uh author i for the for my for my collective each suit like fire earth water and air has a different deck and for you guys i picked the life purpose cards okay because you're fire and you're always doing stuff so you might be dealing with somebody who wants to become an author or is an author um, or you might yourself uh, might be on this journey you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it so this is some kind of important information with a connection and protected you are safe and supported while you change your career so many of you might be changing your career or um, this person might be changing their career you know who knows maybe that has something to do with it your number is going to be number one okay so you're this is the first house this is how people see you uh the face that you show to the world and it's about strategy it is about like knighthood you know it's it, it's the general it's it, the general is is um having to do with that with the aries energy because it, it's about strategic planning and uh it rules anger and war so that, 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 that's probably why you got the knighthood energy there. Interesting how that works. Okay. Um, let's see what energy else comes up here. Oh, yeesh, the 23. Okay. So somebody, what I'm picking up here is somebody is um, protecting their energy. Somebody's protecting their energy. Okay. Um, because they've been hurt and they, they've been, they're, you know, they have been used. 
because of this miser energy and they're protective that's why we have all this armor on okay so my divine feminine this could be your 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 masculine but they might have hurt you or you might have you know been hurt in the past and so this way you have you have this protected layer and maybe you're a writer maybe you're writing about relationships i don't know i'm not going to dig into that what you're writing about but that's what we have for the divine feminine energy now the divine masculine energy um who's coming towards you leo lions uh and i already picked the cards and i had to redo the take so i'm going to keep these cards so let me just see um this person is very they're very very intuitive okay uh this person's very intuitive and they're giving they love to give to you they love to give to you oh my god okay i've got more description here uh they could be a gemini all right they could be a gemini they could be a fire sign like you it could be a sag but um they also mirror a lot of your own energy and uh they're, they're, they can be very clever very smart like cheeky is what i get they can be cheeky and but they're down to earth okay they're very down to earth and very attractive and they have a lot of knowledge about me medicinal things and, and like a naturopath um and then lastly here is yeah i just feel like you really see them as somebody that you can grow with and i feel like you even have gone through some stuff like maybe past life stuff with them um you might have been married to them in a past life but this person is, is is very loving very kind but they are a little guarded okay i do feel like that energy where they're a little guarded now let's see what the romance cards say healing family issues okay so this is probably somebody's dealing with healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so leo i think this is you because you deal with the fifth house so this has to do with some kind of uh, pain that is manifesting from your parents and you bring it into your connections and then we have it is safe to love but it came in upside down so maybe somebody doesn't feel like it's safe to love we do have that guarded energy okay leo i think you are still healing maybe you're healing from an old connection or whatever it could be but you don't feel it's safe yet okay and you're getting there like this i think um Two week period is going to help jumpstart that you got to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love you have beautiful uh energy coming in pe people who want to love you now what is this connection truly about truth mm. dr emoto deck okay it's dr emoto deck speaking this a connection is about truth what else is going on Sagittarius, this energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. Somebody's lacking in these things, okay? Whether it's you or the other person marrying each other, this is lacking, I feel. The seventh house, okay? This is about connections. This is Libra energy. It says, this area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic, business, or family okay so this um maybe because you guys have to deal with long-term relationships because you're fixed so uh it could be that you were in somebody was in a long-term relationship here and they got to get out of it because the south node is in sagittarius is not what that's not that's we're moving away from that okay so somebody could have been in a relationship with a sag damn two fire signs together that um is maybe going away the 10th house and now you're maybe because maybe you married into a family so somebody married into this family or they connected with somebody so their career could take off or they could get the support the you know they felt supported in their career with this person so it could be a libra or sagittarius uh yeah and so the 10th and the 10th house is about your career your achievements and status in the outside world so this could be what you're really focusing on right now 
and um, so this is very significant information for somebody out there see how that goes and oh I, di I did forget to do the connection with the divine masculine using the purpose life purpose cards here so divine masculine and with the divine feminine give us more information on that I just jumped the gun didn't I, I just jumped the gun okay counseling you heal with kind words wise advice and an empathic ear somebody is transforming themselves really working on themselves options consider the career options that are open to you uh so the 10th house right the 10th house here and options counseling maybe some of you leos are meant to be counselors here okay oh yeah you know what i, w I was gonna say i think i think okay because so what i was gonna say was I think somebody's transforming because I see that butterfly lady and I feel like somebody's transforming and they know how to speak before they didn't know how to speak and they want to send a message okay my um my beautiful divine masculines like maybe like your Leo maybe your partner wants to send a, a message to you connect with you okay or they're waiting for a message or they're they're yeah I don't know there's something really really interesting about this energy like they've been working on themselves divine masculines have been working on themselves and they uh they're considering like connecting again i think it's like it's connecting with somebody in the past all right let's get into the rest of this delightful reading and uh look more into the connection without dropping anything sorry about that and I've already pulled the card so we can expedite everything much faster here we go here we go all right let's take a look so somebody feels like they're risking they're taking a risk if they follow this connection But they know it's time to go. They gotta be they gotta be leaving an old connection. But it's a risk. And they don't wanna maybe they're too comfortable. Yeah. it's a risk and they don't feel like, you know, they wanna go out right now. They don't feel confident in themselves. This could be like career though, too. So it could be that their career for Leo here, energy, I'm picking up that somebody's career is not moving fast enough or doing, you know, the giving them the, 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 the money or the prestige or the inform, you know, the novice is not knowing, not feeling confident about your, you know, your, your skill set. So somebody here is not feeling confident in themselves. Yeah, because they're dealing with their emotions, okay? They still have emotions to purge, to release, to come to terms with. Number seven, they have to connect to spirit. Look at that face in the cloud. Um, I think they're, at, you know, I think spirit is talking to them, learning, uh, helping them to sort it out. Uh, so somebody is, it doesn't feel like they're in that place of confidence. And that's what you guys represent yeah because they don't have the money they, don't, they feel more confident with them with money and they could be staying in a connection because it's more um, secure you know safety and and so they're now they don't want to take that risk because they don't feel like they can do it on their own right now okay this is interesting so wealth a change in the wind so somebody's wealth is going to be changing, okay? So it doesn't matter if you stay with this person or not. You're, you're not going to be able to uh, enjoy the wealth unless you make the changes in your heart because the biggest wealth is your health, and that's all you need. <laughs> um, love, okay? Well, you do need love. 
for Leos. So love is here. And you got to be more flexible. That's so interesting because you guys are a fixed sign. So you have to learn to be more flexible in your love connections and who you are going to be with. Like you, maybe you're fixated on a certain type, a certain individual, a certain, you know, body part, color, whatever. It just, you need to open up yourself. Loyalty. Wow. There's a new life waiting for you. There is a new life waiting for Leos. And this person's going to be loyal. They're going to love you. They're going to be flexible. Um, you know, you're not going to even see this thing coming. Okay. Change in the wind. You don't see it coming. It's, it's going to flip you around in a, in a very, very soon. This person knows how to make their own money too. Okay. They do know how to make their own money. Yeah, this is beautiful energy. So let's see what else we got for you. We're just going to leave it there. Um, yeah. Somebody's blocking their love. The block, somebody's blocking this, okay? So somebody needs to walk away from a connection that is no longer going to be satisfying to them. And they need to um, get more information up those skill that skill set and they need to temper their emotions that means that they just need to sit and be this is a, an energy of being what can what what can we give as um advice to my leos please oh this is not upside down let's try another one advice to my leos okay here we go Oh, wow. You're having a life review. Man, this is intense. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to laugh. It's just that I don't know what age you're at, but we do have a lot of the Satyrian um, energy, which is like a whole cycle, and it's a long cycle. But it's also 800 years. Oh, excuse me. Okay, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. I don't think you guys are really motivated to do this because <laughs> I just yawned. It's like, oh, so that's that's important. You guys got to get motivated to look at your life and just kick it forward. Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. So this is somebody in your ancestral lineage, who your family lineage, who is wanting to connect with you, who wants you to listen to them, who wants you to... You know, set time aside to be spiritual, to be open to the messages. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. They just want to be with you and, and just tell you that they love you and that everything's okay and that they're supporting you. It's beautiful. Everything's in divine order. So you, I, I do feel this kind of like you know, lack of enthusiasm with you guys. I don't know why. Um, it's just, I think you guys are stuck. Yeah, I think you guys are stuck with someone that you have been way too loyal to for too long. So it says, Archangel Ragio, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order. So maybe somebody's actually going through a legal separation because of the scales, okay? Um, a lot of Libra energy here with you. So it could be that, the, you know, this is a, this was a relationship that was meant to uh, chisel you, mold you, and, and learn from is what I pick up. Okay. And, and I feel like maybe somebody tipped the scales in the last connection. You know, somebody overdid it. Like these scales were not even. And somebody over stepped their whatever it was you know their boundaries with you somebody over took advantage you know somebody took too much and this is a lot of the energy i'm picking up with that card but now divine guidance is here you have divine order with divine guidance 
Okay, spirit had to step in here and take care of the, take care of the reins somehow. So you guys might have dropped the reins, might have left the reins there, might have done not done the work, and now spirit had to come in and be like, now you got to listen to us, Leo. This is what we're saying. Okay, very very interesting. I hope this resonated. Um, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. I have a special down below. One question. It's a spiritual soul session. It, it's a, the one question or playmate soulmate spread for you at a very low cost. Until we meet again, I wish you the best. Take care, my Leos, and good luck with this love situation. Uh, I wish you the best and uh, know that you, many, 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 many people love you out there, Leo. You have to get off and get out there and get to meet them. All right, take care. Till later. Bye.